Welcome to the coolest stuff on the planet. Greetings and salutations, everyone. This is Matt. And I'm Rachel. And this is the coolest stuff on the planet. Surprise, surprise, guys. We got some cool stuff for you today. Indeed we do. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of Mother Nature's coolest stuff. Yes. In a little place called Yosemite National Park. Isn't it all Mother Nature's coolest stuff? It's true, but this is especially cool. Okay. And I have to confess, um, I know Yosemite is a big name, it being one of the first national parks in the world. Of course, of course. But I really didn't know very much about this park before I did the research for this podcast. For me, it got a little, I got confused with Yosemite and Yellowstone a little bit. Yeah, they sort of go hand in hand in my head too. But uh, after further research, I realized that Yosemite has a character of its own. It does. Indeed it does. It sounded creepy. It did. I like it though. Okay, so uh, there's really, there's nothing generic about Yosemite. Actually, the best way I could describe it after watching some of the videos and reading about it is majestic. It looks to me like North America kind of squeezed down into its purest form. Mm -hmm. Like these are all like the a different little, places. Like a microcosm yes. of, of all the most beautiful things in Af nature That's a North way to America. say it that sounds much more intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Microcosm. <laughs> this place is so majestic, in fact, that um, Parts of it have been protected since 1864, mm -hmm. and the rest since 1890. But let me tell you the story of how Yosemite became a national park. I'm just going to sit and listen to this part. Go ahead. Okay. So, in 1864, President Lincoln made two areas, Yosemite Valley and Mariposa Grove, um, a public trust of the state of California. That was the first part. Do you think part. Lincoln really called it Mariposa? <laughs> he might have called it... <laughs> Mariposa. <laughs> Mariposa Grove. I think that's what he said. Perhaps. So that was the first part. And the rest of the lands, there were a lot of uh, beautiful wilderness lands, weren't protected until the famous environmentalist John Weir and his, and his buddies lobbied Congress to make these other lands a national park in 1889. Mm -hmm. So you had two separate parts, basically one governed by the state, one governed by the federal government. Mm -hmm. And But in, in 1906, the two became one. So, well, let's talk about now about what makes this place so special. Yes. Many people are big fans of this park, including the famous photographer Ansel Adams. So Ansel Adams was so inspired by Yosemite, he actually, uh, this, he wrote this in describing some photographs he took of the place. Yosemite Valley, to me, is always a sunrise, a glitter of green and golden wonder in a vast edifice of stone and space. I know of no sculpture, painting, or music that exceeds the compelling spiritual command of the soaring shape of granite cliff and dome, of patina of light on rock and forest, and of the thunder and whispering of the falling, flowing waters. That truly is a beautiful description. It also highlights some of the major attractions that you'll find at Yosemite, because uh, it's, fa it's actually famous for granite monoliths, huge pieces of rock carved by glaciers, and others. Some of the most famous of those are the Half Dome in El Capitan, uh, or the Capitan, as we always like to say. The Cathedral Rocks are also fun. Mm -hmm. um, it's also famous for waterfalls. It is. Um, among uh, several others, it's home to Yosemite Falls, which is actually the largest waterfall in the United States. And actually, 95% of the park is designated as wilderness area. That is very true, and it actually has 700 miles of trails that you can walk upon. It's like a hiker's paradise, I it guess. It is. Um, I think one of the interesting, most interesting facts to me about Yosemite is that you can actually drive your car around in the park. Mm -hmm. um, kind of like, I know I was recently in Shenandoah National Park, and I thought yes. that was really cool that you could, you could, you know, drive through and, and see the stuff without getting out. Perhaps mm -hmm. that means I'm lazy, but well, it, <laughs> I enjoyed it. it. Yes. So driving and hiking are not the only things you can do in the park. Uh, true. You can also rock climb, mm -hmm. kayak, you can ride your bike, all sorts of stuff. Hacky sack. Uh, you can listen to an MP3 player. You can probably swim. <laughs> yep. And if you're like me and you enjoy and are slightly obsessed with it. trees. You can say it. Say what you want. Well, I wanted to say if you lust after trees, but Matt thinks that's inappropriate. So I will simply say, I rather enjoy trees. A lot. Um. So... <laughs> <laughs> there are a bunch of groves of giant sequoias actually in the park. Yes, that you Rachel. Can check out. Rachel has never seen the film Evil Dead. <clears throat> so I anyway, haven't. <laughs> let's think about this for a second. There are sequoia trees in this park that have been around for an estimated three thousand years. That's almost a thousand years before Jesus was allegedly born. During the summer months, uh, when the moon is full, the park offers tours of the valley floor. They're actually called the moonlight tours. Mm -hmm. 
I think that's really awesome. I'd mm -hmm. love to do that. There are a million more things that are really cool about this beautiful park. But that's, I think we've got the park in a nutshell. I think so. If you want more details about the park, stuff like uh, getting around, hours of operation, history, and that kind of stuff, um, or if you want to learn about acts of Congress and environmentalists, you can head to HowStuffWorks.com, and uh, you know what to do from there. You search for stuff, and it's pretty easy. There are also mm -hmm. all kinds of cool interactive maps of Yosemite on our website. All yeah, kinds of good stuff. That I didn't know. That's really awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also search the internet for the Parks National Park Service website. Yes. They've got lots of fun details. This is true. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And let us know what you think. Email travelpodcast at HowStuffWorks.com. Don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes.